Hi, I am Seta, and in this video I will show you what reflection probes are, what they are for, how to set them up, and why you should use them. In this tutorial I will use scene from mountain environment, but reflection probe will be useful in every scene that you create. So let's get started. So what is reflection probe? Aside from technical details, imagine it's a special camera that captures a view of surroundings in all directions. Then, capture image is stored as a cube map that can be used by any object with reflective materials. You have to remember that reflection probe only sees object that are marked as a reflection probe static. To do this, just click here and select reflection probe static. Because if we uncheck this and bake reflection probe, this mushroom has disappeared. So if we want to do reflection probe see it again, we must set up reflection probe static and then reflection probe see it again. Now let's go back to our main scene and I will show you why you should use reflection probe. Okay, we have our scene. So as you can see, uh, the water only reflect skies and clouds, there is no reflection of tree on any other object, the water looks flat, there is incorrect color, there is no dip, but water is not the only problem. If you look at trees or stones, you can see that the colors are distorted and reflection are in place where they should not be. But when we turn on the reflection probe, you can see that the color and the reflection it's much much better than before. Reflection probe affects not only the water but also the entire environment. And now I'm gonna show you how to create and set them up properly on scene. Okay, if you want to create a reflection probe, go to hierarchy panel, right click, light and reflection probe. And we got this reflection probe with few options here. First, we can choose type of reflection probe like bake, custom or real time. Uh, if we select real time, we have few options here, uh, like every flame, but I don't recommend this because this is a huge impact on performance, uh, so I select baked. And then in the influence volume tab, I can change shape of our reflection probe, like a box or sphere, and the size of the reflection probe. So let's change that to say 20. Okay. Or even more. Okay, like this. And then I hit baked. Okay, our reflection probe baked the area. As you can see, we have a reflection of surrounding. And then we must correct set up the reflection probe. So if you have a flat area like water, the reflection probe should be placed as close as possible, while for other surface, reflection probe should be set up a little higher. So if we have a ground like here, we must set up reflection somewhere about 2 meters above the surface. And then when we click bake, 
probe will create a cube map of the whole environment. It all depends on how we set up the clipping plate because as you can see probe did not save the mountains that are in the distance. To change that we need increase the four clipping plates. And when we hit fake the mountains appear. And now let's go back to water. Let's move this reflection probe here. Take it again. Okay. And another important option is blend distance. If we set it to zero, then our reflection probe will have sharp edges. Like you see it here, which can be useful in closed rooms, but in this case we increase the blend size like this to get a smooth transition. It's even more useful if you use many reflection probes next to each other and want to get the least visible transition between them. It may come in handy in reverse where due to the irregular shape the reflection probe should be placed close to each other to get more accurate reflections. But when it comes to the accuracy of reflection it is a few different options that you can use to create more accurate reflections. You can use the influence volume the reflections. It is not perfect but better than the standard reflections. Or you can use something called reflection proxy volume. To do this we must first add component reflection proxy volume and then in box size we need copy the same numbers of box size and the last thing we need set up proxy volume for reflection probe okay we got that reflection. This is not accurate, but we can now move this in Z axis and we got a better result than before. I hope that this video was useful for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and till the next time. See ya.